The Burglar's Breakfast. The Burglar's Breakfast. Chapter One. Breakfast. Alfie Briggs was a burglar, but he wasn't a good one. Tonight he'd been stolen a broken lawn mower and a bird. A talking bird. It almost woke up the whole street. Stop, thief! Button it, bird brain. After a hard night, Alfie liked to go home to a tasty breakfast. Breakfast was his main meal of the day. He always ate at least three courses. He tried to make sure he never ran out of the five breakfast foods he liked best. Looking around his kitchen, it was easy to see what they were. The first one was sardines. The second one was eggs three dozen. The third one was waffles. The fourth one was cornflakes. And the fifth one was buy more fruit. Chapter two, no breakfast. Alfie's stomach gave a gr hungry growl. It was time for a breakfast. Hmm, what should I have first? Cornflakes, I think. He hunted high and low, but he couldn't find the cornflakes. That's funny. I thought I had a box left. Just then, he noticed a tray of cornflakes leading out of the door and up the street. It could only mean one thing. I've been burgled. Someone had stolen Alfie's cornflakes. He decided to track down the thief and get back his breakfast. Chapter 3. On the Trail Nose pressed against his magnifying glass, Alfie followed the cornflake trail. Just wait till I find out who stole my, who stole my cornflakes. He followed the trail into the park. He followed it to Pet's Corner. The thief would be sorry he'd stolen from Alfie. Suddenly, Alfie came face to face with the thief. The thief looked even grumpier than Alfie. What's more, he had two sharp horns. Oops. Uh, nice goat, said Alfie. The goat glared. Perhaps he didn't like having his breakfast interrupted. I don't think I want cornflakes after all. Too crunchy. On his way home, Alfie thought about what he'd have for breakfast instead of cornflakes. Scrambled egg, nice and runny with lots of butter. Feeling happier, he strolled along when crunch. Alfie stepped on a broken eggshell beside the head. Someone else has had the same idea, he said and grinned. He thought he knew who that someone was. Alfie knelt down. He crawled through a hole in the hedge. On the other side were more broken shells and one happy fox. Been raiding Farmer Teal's chickens, have you? Ha <laughs> ha, good luck to you. The fox ran off. Alfie spotted something. Alfie's egg. The little rascal. Those eggs weren't Farmer Teal's at all. They were mine. Alfie was cross. First, his cornflakes had been snuffled by a greedy goat. Now, his plan for eggs had been scrambled by a cheeky fox. He stomped it home. He flung open his front door. Then, he stormed into the kitchen.